and Sam at the 500 metre post and Roman Fighter accelerated. He was forced to, he was on a bit of a limb there for a while. Roman Fighter's gone to the lead from Stable Secret. Sebring lanes down on the inside of it running third and they're being followed over on the outside by Trey Amici called upon and they've raced away from Border Scott one off the wood. Roman Fighter led them by the 250. It snuck two and a half to three clear. Trey Amici running on the outside into second placing. Border Scott makes up ground from Jack and Sam then one off the wood but Roman Fighter too good for them is going to hold them all at bay. Roman Fighter beat Border Scott. Stable ben you'd be really happy with that performance because we know Roman Fine has got plenty of potential but you still got to bring that to the race day. Yeah, no, that was good. It was good to see him come out and win in town. Um, so it's good for the owners, Ron Sayers. He's recently purchased the horse, so um, he'll be thrilled to see it win today. Still did a little bit wrong too, which has got to bring a smile to your face because there is still uh, lengths of improvement out there. Yeah, I think so. Like, I, I was nearly tempted to go the 1,200 today just because you got that little bit of room for error because you can do a lot wrong. Um, so, yeah, I think he is going to be a better horse with a bit of time. It's still, we were talking about it in the mounting enclosure just before the race, that when everything clicks, this horse is going to be a serious animal. I mean, when it beat Joyful Hope by three lengths, we thought that might have been the race, but still progressing, still learning, and plenty more to come. Yeah, plenty more to come, and he, he probably bumped into a good horse last um, last start in um, in Tudor Bolt, so um, I don't think there was any uh, any harm in that, so um, he's, he's come on well. And so from what you saw today, do you step up in distance like you did last campaign, or are you tempted to stay around the 1,000 metres still? Uh, I'll see how it pulls up, and I'll have a chat to Hawley and, uh, and see what he thinks, but like I, I don't see any harm in going to the 12. Well done, we'll grab Peter Hall now, and Hawley, uh, it is a horse that can give a little bit of difficulty, but you'd be happy to get the win there. Oh yeah, look, I, I have only been associated with this horse, this prep, and um, he's still learning. He's a big, powerful horse, and uh, you know, he, now he's got his mind on the job. Uh, you can see what he can do, but there's definitely more improvement in him as well. He's got a few quirks, hasn't he? And even today, he was a little bit slow out of the gate, but then just got that speed so quickly. Yeah, this prep, you know, we've just um, had someone on his tail. Seems to jump good, and um, yeah, he's got awesome speed now that you can put it all together. And you've been pretty confident from the work at home that he'd bring it to race day and be able to win one of these. Well, we know he's got a lot of ability. Um, but the, uh, the flip side was we know he's got more improvement, but we still thought he'd get away with today. Great ride today, Hawley. Well done. Thank you.